Nick and we're ready to the Sleepy K Show where we're doing a lot of picking and cleaning. I'm Rosalinda Cipollari and I'll be your host for today. And today we'll be featuring Tress Cipollari, the fiddle player for the Cotton Picking Show. Hey, Am I in trouble? <laughs> okay. So, Trez, we're just gonna ask you a couple of questions. Just a couple? Just a couple. Cause I, I gotta go. Okay, okay. Keep it, keep it fast. Keep uh, it, yeah. keep it short. Let's go. I'm ready. So, were you, were you the first in your group to start playing? I was. Um, I was seven years old, I think, and my aunt was playing fiddle, and she was like, "Hey, Trez, you wanna take a few lessons? Cause I, I love the fiddle." And um, I was like, yeah. So she gave me like one or two lessons, and then Crate Shelton uh, started teaching me. So yeah, I was the first in the band to start playing. Sabi came after. <laughs> Sabi was a little late bloomer. <laughs> uh, yeah. But anyways, what made you choose the fiddle? Um, you know what? I was just born with a skill to pick to play the fiddle so i think my my um my aunt played it so i you know the fiddle was a girl's instrument supposedly <laughs> So I wasn't going to play the girl's instrument. I didn't want to play guitar. Anyways, did you compete when you were younger? I did. I competed. Uh, I think I competed once at our fiddler's convention in Athens, Alabama. I was like really young. Anyways, I had played Boiled and Cabbages. And that's not a competition song. But we were kind of new in like bluegrass world. So we didn't really know. And... I was the only one that got the, a standing ovation. Like, what? <laughs> because, I don't even know why. <laughs> but, me and my brother, because he was playing with me at Poos. It was cool, never competed again. I didn't get anything. We actually got disqualified, fun fact. Um, Savi did too much on the guitar, too many wiggly notes. <laughs> too many, t he wasn't supposed to show off the guitar and he did. And um, so we got disqualified. So it's sad, but it was fun. I, I remember it. I did have a lot of fun that day. So, what were your inspirations when you were writing your music? So my inspiration on writing my music, um, my sweet home, um, it's inspired by my home. <laughs> obviously, we live on a hundred acres of land with all my aunts and uncles and cousins so anyways that's besides the point the point is it's about my home but when i say um what is it something about the jungle <laughs> don't even remember the lyrics um it because on our driveway on the gravel road area in the summer there's it gets so green that it actually looks like a jungle when you go through it and that's like my favorite part in the summer just to go walk. especially when it rains yeah when it rains it's like a rainforest and it's actually rainy today so it's a good time to go walk but it's very pretty and you hear the birds chirping i mean we do get a lot of snakes but I should I should put a verse in that song about snakes, shouldn't I? <laughs> Anyways, um, I do have more songs coming out, so yeah, I don't know. And then God Chose You was inspired by our music teacher, Craig Shelton, who had passed away recently. I wanted to write a song that way every time we go on stage, it's like he's there with us. So that's why I wrote a song with, about him. I wrote it in like a week after he passed away. Writing music, it's like, it comes to you like this, if, you know, when it's meant to be, so. Um, how do you write music? So, um, my first song I wrote, My Sweet Home, I wrote that on my kitchen table, because my mom has was leaving, and we were doing school, and she said, you can either write an essay, or write a song, or write a poem, because we usually do essays. 
And I was like, you know what? I'm going to write a song because I never wrote a song before. And um, yeah, that song just, it, it kind of just happened, honestly. I She came home. She was like, let me see your schoolwork. And I showed her the song. I already had all the the tune. I had the tune and everything. And she liked it a lot. And she's like, oh my gosh, you got to show Papa. So when Papa came home from work, I showed him. And, and then, yeah. It just, honestly, music, writing music, it just supposedly just has to come to you. So. And that song just came because I had to do school. So I had to do something. <laughs> Do you like writing music? I do like writing music. It's actually, I have a lot of fun writing music. I wrote so much stuff. I have notebooks full of stuff. My phone has notes just full of lyrics and different things that I've never used. And uh, I, I love writing. It's just I never finish what I start. But I do have a few songs that are... Like a month ago, she was like singing this song. And she's just like, does this sound good? Does this sound good? And then I'm like, yeah. And then she's like, no, it's not good enough. It's not good enough. <laughs> Who is your favorite musician? Um, my favorite musician is Jim Van from um, Appalachian Roadshow. I don't know if you heard of Van, but he's amazing. Um, I absolutely love him. His fiddle playing is absolutely like what I want to do. I so yeah, Jim Van from Appalachian Roadshow. What are your goals in life? So my goals for life that's private. I don't even know. I don't know. But my goals for music. Um, I would say I really want to travel, not just around the United States. We've done a lot of that. I really want to travel around the world playing music with my siblings. Also, I want to, you know what would be really cool? I want to play for the Grand Ole Opry. I mean, it would just be cool. Hopefully one day it will happen. But I want to do that and I want to, I want to, I want YouTube to really take off. I want our YouTube channel to go somewhere because Honestly, playing music at home, it's its just probably the most, I don't know, enjoyable because you don't have the stress of on stage. Like, I love playing on stage. I've been playing on stage ever since I was really little. But just playing right here, I mean, it's just so stress-free. I mean, it is stressful to get things, you have to get it done, but it, it's a whole different stress, stressfulness, so. Um, I really want our YouTube to really take off. Comment down below who's your favorite musician and if you heard of Appalachian Roadshow. So, let me know. Well, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell to, to get notified every time you post a brand new video. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Did you know that we had a CD? It's called Slimish Mode. Oh, hi. You can also download our MP3 so you can listen to our music on your phone and on your tablet and many more. There's a lot of great ones like Shady Girl and Gift Junk. We also have t shirts, and this is one of my favorites. Hey guys, my name is Savio. I'm the oldest cotton picking kid. I play the mandolin and. This is our new album, Slumish Mountain, which is named after my original song. And if you're wondering, it does have Foggy Mountain Breakdown on this album. You can uh, purchase this CD on our website at cottonpickingkids.com. Also, we have MP3s if you just want to download it and have it on your phone or anything, any device. Um, and we have t-shirts. Just check the website out. It's a great website. and. Um, I'll see you guys later.